Let's take a quick look over here first, before we jump into that conversation again. Back door. I say back door, it's clearly not an entrance. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Oh, there's only one way to find out, I'm afraid. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm just curious about the fact that we keep walking. We can just walk out of this town. No, never mind. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk to Edna again. Ahem. You said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes. What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Corleone, you know that? Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Okay, stay in the suit. Got in it. The suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. I think as a Labrador. <laughs> Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Good brain, I see. And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Uh, just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. Well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? Yeah, so we just have to ruin all three of those expectations, huh? So, yeah, sounds simple enough. I think we can do that. Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girls, you know, motors running. Motors? Who <laughs> makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. I mean, it is kind of cute, your infatuation with each other, but I know... I know the evil that it brings in the future. Alright, so I don't feel like this is a good one. Um, you don't know Emmett like I do. Feel like that's not gonna get anywhere. What the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an absolutely revolutionary invention! Measures a person's affinities. What he's attracted to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course! What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or, anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. And what exactly are your purposes? See, the evil's already seeping through. Okay, let's try this you one. You say you know Emmett is a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Plutonium? What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Emmett's mind map demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. He stole it. This is technically true. Although, totally different Emmett, might I add. This one time, to power one of his science experiments, Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. And my vice principal hates him. We're not going to get anywhere with this. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. Trixie! Hey, Artie. That is it. You it is Trixie, Oioli? right? You mean this? Yeah, thanks. She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Poor guy. I really do feel for him. I... Ooh, convince Edna that Emmett's cheating. And, of course, Trixie had to appear, so where, oh, where would she have gone? Whoop. 
Okay. Trixie? Hello? There you are! <clears throat> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome! Uh, to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome! To all who... Oh, hiya, kid! Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, oh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Ah. Uh. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow, and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. It sounds like you're not that re that invested, really, Trixie, if I'm, if I'm honest. Um, hmm. Artie works here. What are you doing? How's kid? Uh, what's the story with this expo? I'm not sure it helped me make Edna jealous is gonna really work, but if we run out of the other options, clearly that's the only way to go. So, Artie's working for the expo too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell! The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The expo's darn lucky they could get him. I'm not gonna ask how's Kid. Whose idea was it to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley? Beats me. Artie says it's all bread and circuses. But I ain't seen a single clown yet today. That's really interesting, actually. Hmm. So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Must have slept through that class. I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women, too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So, you work for the expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests, and on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. That is good information. Um, so, Trixie, your role in this, uh, this plot got even bigger than I originally anticipated. Okay, what does Artie do here? How's Kid? Okay, let's go with what does Artie do here. What's Artie's job? Oh, he's a real high muckety-muck at the expo. He's in charge of all the money, and the hiring and firing. Hey, not bad. You're telling me, and super respectable too. It's a real relief for him to have a job where the boss never pulls a gun on him. It's good to see that you and Artie are both doing okay. Oh, we're more than okay. And if things keep going the way they're going, we may be more than just friends before you know it. Well, don't get too serious too fast. Nah, we're keeping things casual, for now. Good. I'm sure Grandma will appreciate that. I feel... okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there. I really do feel like she is your grandmother, Marty. I... I don't know how to prove this, though. I don't know whether there's gonna be some huge revelation towards the end of the game or not. Like, we see a picture of them together, but I just feel it in my bones. And I don't know why the game's hiding this fact. Oh, well. I mean, it'll be interesting to see the reveal. If there is one. If there's no reveal, then I'm just going to call it and say that's the grandmother. Um, you got a nice gig here. Techni, Muse of Progress. Not a bad gig. Audie got it for me. It's my entree into respectability. All right, we're going for it. Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Audie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. <laughs> I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Didn't you see where I'm coming from? He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's gotta resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah. Oh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. 
Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni Muse of Progress. Your head's in the right place. I approve of this. I mean, it makes my job harder, but I still approve of this. Um... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where to go next. I feel like there's nothing else to talk about here. I'm not going to ask how Kit is. I am curious, though, but... No, I don't want to bring See that you, up. See Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. Okay. Um... Hmm. I don't know, maybe we can- Yes, I think we can go inside. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not tonight! Anybody yeah. without official business here, please get off the grounds! Okay, I'm going this way. Um... See if there is actually a back door that we can use. Nope. And there's gotta be more significance to this truck. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Ooh, boxes? I can't see. Nope. No, nope, that's the truck. Wow, that that hitbox kind of extends further than it really needs to. Um. Oh, nice. List of animate strengths. That'll be a good reminder. Um, let's see if I can remember them off by head. Looks good in the suit, so we, I feel like we should just tarnish his suit. Um, or just doesn't wear a suit, I'm not sure. Uh, make it look like he's not very faithful, and finally, I don't remember the last points. This is why I'm really glad we have that list. Have you figured out what's wrong with the time circuits? Not sure. Possibly. It seems to me to be a simple wiring issue, but I'm double-checking to make sure. All the basic equipment appears to be functional. Um, any chance I could borrow the DeLorean? I want to drop in on young you at the lab. Well, I don't know. The time circuits... Listen, I promise I won't take it to 88. Even so, I'm worried about letting it out of my sight while it's still behaving unpredictably. Tell you what, I'll take it on a test drive one minute into the past. If it passes the test, I'll let you borrow it. This isn't going to go well. He worked! Didn't it? I'm afraid not. In fact, the discrepancy appears to be getting worse. I arrived six hours ago. Oh, too bad. I didn't want to risk undoing any of the work you've done thus far, so I kept out of sight. But the time lag wasn't entirely a waste. I stopped by the hardware store and bought the parts for a chronometric analyzer. A what? A diagnostic device. See, I plug it into the time circuits and set them to cycle. When the green light goes off, I should have the data I'll need to understand the scope of the problem. Hey, no driving the exhibits off the lot! Looks like you'll have to find another set of wheels if you want to get to the lab. Okay, we're going to the truck. Hang on. Wait a second. Was I just completely blind to this before? Did I? I, I, I legitimately don't remember this being here. I'm so sorry if I, I blind out. The courthouse out. did look like that in 1981. Uh, buttons. The century looks bright for our fair metropolis. Jump with us 50 years into the future for a peek at Hill Valley circa 1981. Courtesy of Hal's hardware and the collective imagination of mankind. Could this be our venerable town square? Yes, indeed. Though the form looks strange and new, the function remains the same as ever. But where are all the people? Why, they're underground. A network of burrows extends a mile into the earth giving future Hill Valley's 10 million citizens plenty of space to work, play, and raise their families. You know, I really like the optimism that that old sci-fi had. The, if you take a look at old sci-fi compared to new sci-fi, new sci-fi is all kind of dystopian futures and ruin and apocalypse and just dread. 
old sci-fi is great because they had such hope for the future. I mean, look at this. This isn't kind of an accurate representation of what they expected the future to look like, and it was just 50 years in the future. It's a shame that optimism kind of hasn't stuck around so much. Skateboard! My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Corleone. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I'd better go see what's keeping him. Um... I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the 11th hour. But... Tut -tut. Not another word. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Miss Strickland! I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. Heavens, you've shaved off your hair, but... Carl Sagan? I'd like a word with you, if I may. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. I think it may be in your best interest. You see, I know what you're up to. Let's go somewhere where we can talk privately. Go. I'll keep her occupied till you get back. Did you guys hear what he just said? I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure... He just said, I know what you're up to. Okay, I want to look at these buttons a little bit more. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I am. Of course, our residents will want to venture forth into the fresh air occasionally. And what better excursion than a pleasure ride in this elevated super train of tomorrow? Oh, is, is, is the train meant to be running around in circles? My bad. I'm so sorry I broke it. Agricultural advances will make it a breeze to feed our burgeoning population. Tired of waiting for Mother Nature to do her job? Just press a button. Presto! An artificial rainstorm drenches the valley's thirsty crops. I'm not sure I feel about the fact that the floor was sparking there for a second. And after the rain, what else? An artificial rainbow, reassuring all the good people of Hill Valley that their needs are taken care of, and life is sweet. See, this is what I mean about how they had such an optimistic vision for the future. It's everyone taking care of each other. Aw, oh, man. I miss that. I really do miss that notion. Pleasant dreams, Hill Valley. And the Expo would like to remind you that you can find everything you need to transform your dreams into reality at Hal's Hardware. Hal's Hardware, serving our fair city since 1895. I wish the courthouse did look like that in 1981. Okay, I just wanted to double check. Press button to experience future Hill Valley, circa 1981. Not I too don't shabby. think I've visited that timeline yet. But imagine if you could. Imagine if we finally go back to 1981 and it did look like this. That'd be kind of awesome. Alright, time to steal the truck. If Marty will let me go. There we go. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Okay. Hmm, that's, that's curious. I, I thought I'd be able to take the truck and go kind of grab Artie or check up on Artie. Uh, no getting past this guy. But we can actually talk to Arthur McFly a little bit more now that we we aren't going to be interrupted by, hey, by Edna. Hey, Mr. G-Man. How's the uh, undercover operation? If everything goes as planned, we should be wrapping things up real soon now. Well, when it's time for me to play my part, just say the word, 